Hey everyone, it's Magenta. Welcome to the 2021 Hackaday Prize Entry Update. Challenge three is reimagine supportive tech. For this challenge, we asked you all to imagine technology that acts as a better, more inclusive version of an existing device or design beginner-friendly tech for aspiring engineers. Life is hard enough as it is, so let's make it a little easier any way we can. First up, we have the Picture Exchange Communication System, which assists individuals with nonverbal communication by using pictograms to represent sounds or words. Just press a button and the board makes the corresponding noise. Not only is this useful for nonverbal communication, but we see this as a great tool for supporting cross-cultural dialogue. Flow.io is a platform for easy pneumatic experimentation. One of those things you never really knew you needed to experiment until you saw this project. With five pneumatic ports for controlling mechanisms, this is a great tool that makes soft robotics and basic pneumatic projects way more accessible for new hackers. If you can master pneumatics, then you're off to an exciting start on your hacker journey. Simple Cheap Microscope Stand for iPad Pro allows you to adapt your iPad to a high-performance EE microscope. Imagine the possibilities. You know a microscope is to hackers what a paperclip is to MacGyver, so let's zoom into this awesome hack. By taking advantage of the advanced zoom feature of the iPad Pro, this idea makes soldering those tiny components way more manageable. Thermoelectric Body Cooler, which, depending on where you live in the world, is quickly becoming a medical necessity with how hot this past summer has been. Am I right? This project aims to make the wearer feel cooler by changing the temperature in a precise location on the wrist and employs affordable, compact Peltier modules to create the cooling effect. Though I speak for some of us when I say, no matter what our temperature is, we may never be that cool. <laughs> a proximity sensor to assist the blind. This entry uses a time of flight sensor to detect nearby objects and aims to supplement the usual cane. While canes are primarily useful for objects at ground level, this could help detect objects at a variety of heights. We're excited to follow along the journey of development of this simple and effective solution. Up next, we have redefined robots. How will robots help us navigate this unstable present and hopefully calmer future? This is, of course, assuming that they don't rebel and take over. Remember to be nice to our potential robotic overlords. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Cobots ahoy!